Hello everyone. I'm Nitesh Moria. Welcome again to another lesson and thank you to get our course and help in slum education. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to download data. First of all, go to the Google search engine and search USGS Earth Explorer. If you got these results, click on the first link. It takes you to the Earth Explorer data server portal. This the data server portal by USGS. To log in and create a new account on this portal, click on login button. Now you got this login page. If you have account, then fill the details and scroll down and click on sign in. If you don't have, then click on create a new account. It will take you on this page. Create your username and password. For example, I am putting XAYZ and create a password. Now select the password and copy it. Paste your password here. Check the mark on the box before. I am not a robot and click on continue. Here we have selected our sector. For example, I'm choosing academic institutions. Which of the following characterizes you as a user of remotely sensed data from USGS? For this, you to select how you will apply these data. Like, data provider, provide data for someone else to use. And others theses. In other, please specify. I am mentioning nothing here. If you want to, you can put your information. What is the primary application for which you have used remotely sensed data from USGS in the past year? In this I going to select education university slash college. In this, you have to choose what other areas have you used remotely sensed data such as I'm selecting agriculture forecasting, coastal science slash monitoring slash management, geology, transportation, urbanization, water resources, technical training, land use slash land cover change. In the other application box, I'm putting geography. Also, you can put your major field here. Here in this drop down menu, we have to select all of the data. And in this, we can select, very important. It is asking about, over the next year, how important will free and open access to remotely sensed data from USGS be to conducting your work? Now click on continue to contact information. It will take you to this page. Where you have to fill in your personal information. After this click on save contact information. Then you will get this page where you can see your details here. If something is wrong with this then you can edit the information by clicking on the edit button. Now click on submit registration, then you will get an email from the Earth Explorer team. Click on login button to log in your account. Then, put your username and password here. Scroll up and click on sign in to log in with your account. When you sign in to your account you will get this home page. You can see this detail forms. And here this is my account. And other tabs. You have to zoom into your study area on the given map. And make a polygon around your study area. By clicking on map. Then move your cursor left side of the detail form and scroll down.
Now click on the calendar icon or put the date for starting date in front of search from. To unselect a date for the last date for imagery. Now click on cloud cover and set cloud coverage for an imagery. Here I am going to set 0 to 10% for my data. Do click on data sets. Then it will take you this page, click on Landsat then drop down it then click on Landsat Collection 2 Level 1 and choose Landsat 4 to 5 TMC 2 L1. Then click on Results, and within a few moments, you will get the results. I have choose, because Landsat 5 provides better imagery as for 2010. Now click on this download icon. Then it will take you to a pop-up window, click on Product Options. Now click on this download button then the data goes to downloading. To better imagery resolution, we can get from the Sentinel satellite data which is available Copernicus data server by NASA. For this, you have to search Google, then search Copernicus Open Access Hub, then click on the first link. You get this page, scroll down and click on Open Hub. After this, you will get this actual data server. Now click on this login icon, if you have Copernicus data server account go with that, if no. Then click on sign up. And you will get the sign up form. Fill out this form, first name then last name. Create a new username for your account. Try to make it like that never take by anyone before. Now create a password for your account. And type again your password here. Put your email ID here. Then select the domain as land. Then select the domain as land and country name. Click on register. Then you get this pop-up window. Here you can see the registration is done successfully. Now click again on login button. Then put your username and password Click on Login button. Zoom to your study area. Then click on this button and make a rectangular polygon around your study area. Go to these three lines and Select, sort by, sensing date, order by, ascending. Now click on calendar icon under sensing period and select time period, in which time period data you need. Scroll down and go to mission, Sentinel 2. Select S2MS2A in product type and put cloud cover as per your need between 0 to 9.4. Here I going to set 0 to 2, now click on this search icon. Now you got the resulting imageries. Then select the perfect tiles for your study area which cover all the study areas. Clicking on this I button, you can see the area and preview of imagery.
Here I need two tiles for my study area. Then add to the cart. Now go to the cart by clicking on cart button. Click on this download button below the tiles. Then your data downloading will start. I'm avoiding download this data because I have already. Similar you can download other tiles if you have in your study area. Before 2019 the Sentinel-1 data was not available on this data server therefore I have found another resource for it. Therefore, go to ASF data server by NASA which link provided in the lesson guide and click on that. Now it will take you to this web data server. Click on the sign in button here, it will take you to another window. If you have an account on Earth data, then go with that. If you don't have click on register and register yourself. Then click on this draw new area button, make a polygon around your study area. And again click on it to stop drawing. Now click on the filter and got this window, set the period here. For data. Then click on search. You got these tiles and select the perfect fit tile for your study area and search your tile here, such as I am selecting it here. And click on cart, your tile set into cart now. Click on cart. Now click on this download button to download the tile. And you can also download this data. Both are for the same data in one folder you will get metadata, and in another one, you got the bands.